I literally scraped more than 25,000 tech jobs that were posted in the last six months. And you're not going to believe these are the top nine cities in which these jobs were posted. I'm going to break this down each city and along the way, I'll also tell you which city is known for what in the tech world. And trust me, number four actually shocked me. I'm assuming it's going to shock you as well. But actually, let's first understand how I scraped this job. So I took the help from Jobrite, Frog Hire and some AI automation to scrape all the job boards to get these jobs. Roughly more than 25,000 jobs were analyzed. Then I put them together in a data, analyze the data to get this list so it is purely based on the data and not just some random list <laughs> which you will find it online these are actually that job posts that are posted in the different cities so you get a good idea of like which cities are known for what types of jobs if you also want me to do this for specific job roles for which job role which cities you want please let me know i can do that for different different job roles as well what do i mean by tech jobs so these are any jobs that are related to software engineering ai ml product manager, technical program manager, data analyst, data scientist, DevOps, cloud engineering. And all of this combination is compiled into a tech jobs. Now, if you want, like I said, any specific job roles for this list of cities, let me know in the comment section and I'll do that in the next videos. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Yuri. And on this channel, we talk about everything related to studying in United States and building a successful life and career here. So let's start with number nine on the list. It's Dallas. Yep, Dallas is actually coming up. I'm slightly surprised that it's not higher than number nine, but you know, wait until number four. It's actually going to shock you as well. So Dallas is traditionally known as a business friendly environment. Also, there's no state income tax in taxes, which is also nice. Why a lot of businesses are over there. But companies which are very, very well known is telecommunication and energy. But now it is also emerging as a hot tech spot. So fintech startups, cybersecurity and software companies and big four consulting tech firms are all over there as well. So or in general, maybe in the next one, I should also talk about the cost of living for every single one of them. But in general, the cost of living is not super high in Dallas, at least as of right now, but it is slightly rapidly growing. Number eight is Boston. Yes, it is a classic tech hub. Now I know Boston is known for its historic, you know, uh, sites and the tea party, which obviously a lot of people know. If you didn't know, look it up, Boston Tea Party. And then of course it is also have the institute like MIT and Howard, but Boston actually are also have the industry in biotech, healthcare tech, robotics, even artificial intelligence. And it's actually have a lot more AI stuff coming up, AI based startups in Boston, which is mind blowing. That is why it's number eight. Number seven actually is Atlanta, which is growing faster than you think that it's actually, you know, very, very close to number six. And it is often underrated and probably often forgotten that it actually has a lot of tech world tech market in Atlanta. And actually Atlanta is growing in its startup ecosystem and the city obviously have a very close connection to all the international flights and the domestic flights. That's why it's growing, but it is mainly known for fintech world and the tech world both. And mainly in the tech world, it is known for fintech industry and cybersecurity, which is, you know, interesting because Georgia Tech and Georgia State is in Atlanta. Now, number six is Washington, D.C. Yes, uh, I was actually surprised because I was like, Washington, D.C. is mainly known for like, you know, politics and White House and all of it. So how is tech related? But actually it is known for cybersecurity. A lot of cybersecurity tech is in Washington, D.C. And obviously a lot of government technology is also in Washington, D.C. But do not forget Washington, D.C. is covered by DMV area, which is Washington, D.C., Maryland, which is another state and Virginia, which is another state. So all three areas uh, is known for tech industry, anywhere from public sectors, private sectors, Again, fintech, healthcare, and government tech. Again, I know you might think that, oh, we are international student, we are not going to be eligible. You actually will be surprised. There are a lot of companies who have private sectors 
who are eligible for cyber security tech as well. By the way, at this point, if you're looking for job or internships, then don't do it alone. Please come and join our ultimate job hunting course. We have students from all kinds of universities and some of our students have gotten into Tesla, and Walmart and even Meta. And we have an amazing, engaging WhatsApp community. So as soon as you join the course, you also get to be part of WhatsApp community where I'm also very involved and we all discuss what kind of strategies to work, what is going on in the market, immigration and so and so forth. Plus we do monthly live sessions. So again, if you're in the job market and in the internship market, then please check out link in the description. All right, let's move on to the number five, which is Chicago. Fun fact, also, this is where my company's headquarter is. Chicago is growing. I know it is mainly people think that it's known for architecture and modern architecture, but no, actually it is known for big data analytics. Uh, so there are a lot of data analytics jobs, a lot of fintech, again, discover credit card. That is also headquarters is over there. Also like aviations is over there. Yes, uh, some of the big head uh, airline companies offices are over there and even healthcare. Also, I have excluded supply chain from this, but a lot of uh, Midwest is known for supply chain and industrial. So Chicago does have a lot of that jobs as well. So that's why it's number five. Now, number four, which I was surprised is Austin. Let me know if this surprised you because Austin just started to get very, very, very famous recently. Like if you had to go back in 10 years, Austin was not even famous at all, but obviously big companies like Tesla, Oracle, and then a lot of startups are moving to Austin. Again, Austin is in Texas and Texas is no state income tax. So a lot of businesses want to establish their headquarters in Austin. It has actually seen a lot more entrepreneurs and startup founders, tech startup founders in Austin. So it is going through explosive growth right now. The property rates that were there five years ago, which I know some of my friends bought their properties in Austin, they told me, it's crazy now. <laughs> so something that was costing 300,000 now it's costing almost $550,000 almost like double number three is Seattle. Yep. I actually have been thinking about moving to Seattle. No, not kidding. <laughs> this is also another city which has no state income tax because it's in Washington. Again, it is also the hub where Amazon and Microsoft is there. So it is known for innovation and tech. If you, I was just talking to one of the other ultimate job hunting student who got into Amazon and they mentioned like how the Seattle area, like Redmond area where everyone is very, very, very ambitious. It's like surrounded with the tech world and tech innovation and lots of lots of startup world. So again, Seattle is one of those areas where you will see every kind of startup exists. It's not just known for tech, but it's there's lots more than just tech. Of course, AI is there booming as well. Okay, by far, I know number two, you probably have predicted, but actually it might be surprising. Uh, it's Bay Area. It was surprising to me because I thought Silicon Valley Bay Area should be number one, but it actually wasn't number one. And number one is actually New York. Yes. So I thought like number one would be Bay Area and then number two would be New York. But because the jobs which I'm looking at is also product manager, technical program manager, data analyst, so all of those combined, New York takes the priority compared to Bay Area. But Bay Area was super, super, super close. There's a difference of only like five to 10%. So again, they both are heavily I don't have to talk about Bay Area. Bay Area is obviously multiple cities like San Francisco, Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, Fremont and all the different different areas. I'll, I'll put the map here so you know what the Bay Area is. And then New York City, I mean, you, it doesn't need like introduction. It's known for fintech and it's known for health tech and it's known for ad tech and media and marketing tech, every kind of tech <laughs> that you can think of. Uh, New York is the place to be when it comes to tech jobs, which I was also surprised because I thought it's, you know, Bay Area, Western world and, you know, California. But actually, New York has a lot more tech jobs than I realized it. Let me know in the comment section which city surprised you the most. And maybe you are already working in one of the city and which one would you want to work in one of these cities if you get an opportunity let me know in the comment section until our next one keep smiling and keep hustling also let me know which role should i cover next